Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the Go Fish by Rob Machado and Firewire Surfboards. Pretty excited to talk about this review. Look, the first way it hit me was I was following, I follow Firewire on Instagram, and they launched some like, kind of talking about it a little bit, but it hadn't hit the shop yet. And I'm thinking, boy, that board looks kind of cool. All these mixed feelings and thoughts were going through my mind. Like, what kind of lines would that draw? Could I surf that? How would it be, look like under my feet? And then I also follow Huntington Surf and Sport, and like a week or two later, they said that it hit the shop floor. So I told Aaron, my brother, I'm like, we gotta go down there and check this board out, maybe get one. So I wasn't sure if I wanted a 5.3 or 5.5, so I called over there, made sure they had both in stock, and asked it to hold it for me, and I, we were on our way. And when I got there, it was pretty cool. The guy seemed to know quite a bit about Firewire boards, LFT, the construction. I don't, I've never ridden a Firewire surfboard personally, but I've always had this interest in trying their boards. And so we're talking about the two different, you know, volume and this and that. But one of the things I, I couldn't decide on 5.3 or 5.5 is all the volume up front, right? With all that volume up there, it's great for paddle and getting down the line. But I really struggle when, I, when, I, when I'm standing up and I'm doing my turns is I can feel all that foam under my front foot and it almost makes the board teeter rail to rail if my feet aren't in the right spot instead of flowing. And so I went with the 5.3 just because of that. And the 5.3 comes in 20 and a quarter wide by two and three sixteenths thick. Lead is a volume 27.4. And I'm five foot nine and 170 pounds and it floated me great. Now, it is really loose and responsive, but I felt like I could still get into waves easy and get down the line with lots of speed. So sit back and enjoy the show. So now I wanna go into the overall design of the board. We'll start with the, with the rocker. There's not much to talk about. It's low entry, low exit, and that's gonna give me great paddle and drive. But we've gotta talk about the concaves when we talk about rockers. And Rob talks about this in, in segments, like panels. Like these two are side panels, and then he talks about this being the center panel. Now the center panel is very subtle. It's relatively flat. There is a slight single that I could see in there. And he talks about there being a little bit the V out the tail, but it's pretty subtle. But these panels on the left panel and the right panel, when you run a, a rule over those, it looks like one big channel. So that's going to run one big single concave. And it's starting like two thirds from the board all the way through the tail. And that's what's going to give me that, that lift and drive. And this board is really super fast. I felt like I could get around just about any section that I, that I either wanted to float over or just try and pump and get it down the line. And it seemed like you don't have to push real hard to get these boards to do what you want. You just want more flow in your, in your technique. And that was hard for me to do at first, but let's have a look at the tail. So the tail's a bit pulled in, and with that, we know that's gonna give us a little bit more performance. And then he also thinned it out a bunch, so that'll help me sink that tail fast. And I think that's a good combination, especially for somebody like me that wants to get performance out of a board that I'm supposed to be flowing on. So I'm thankful that he did that because I'd probably struggle. Look, I'm not claiming to be a twin fin keel guy. Um, this is the first real twin fin I've ever ridden. And there was some struggles. I had some struggles. I had to try a bunch of different fin sets and we'll get into that. But even my friends were watching me struggle on it. But if I'm gonna draw new lines, it's gonna take me some time to get used to it. And, and watching a guy like Rob Surf, he's been writing this weird stuff forever and he's super good and that's what inspired me to wanna try it. So now I want to talk about the fin setups I, I tried and what Rob recommends. Now it's recommended to ride as with a keel fin. So I tried, I started with the K2. Look, first I want to say this. I am not a twin fin expert. So I wanted to start with the way it was designed for me to ride. So the K2 has the really wide base. It's got a lot of sweep to it. And that's going to make my turns a little bit more drawn out. This wide base is gonna give me tons of drive and this fin felt fast, but it was so long and drawn out for me that it took a lot for me to get this board. It was super cruisy and kind of carvy and that's not who I am. Even though I enjoyed those lines a little bit, it was kind of a tough transition for me. Remember, I'm coming from a thruster, progressive type surfing 
all the time. And so I thought, well, let's try the K1. What am I gonna get? A little more upright fin, still a wide base, and it's still, it was a little bit transition into my turns faster, but still a little cruisy for me. So I thought, well, I've got a bunch of different fins to try, so let's move on and try something else. But this fin was very fast, board felt stiff. Now, the twin fin in general for me feels a little skatey. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a fin to tone that down, give me some traction. So I went into this Captain fin. This is a really large fin. It's got a, um, a large base with a ton of rake and that's gonna give me a more drawn out turn, but it still felt a little bit more um, pivotal than the two kills and it felt better. But I thought still, there was something missing. I wanted to try and get it to, to perform a little bit better and I saw the YouTube of um, Tanner Gadowskis absolutely shredding on this old twin fin, and the fin that he was that that board had glass ends. It had more of an upright fin, so I wanted to try the Merrick twin fin. So it's got the base, but I felt like it was so upright that the board was super loose. It was really skatey, and it didn't work at all for me on this board. So I thought, what am I going to do? And I had the T1 and the Captain Fin Special which is very similar in design, both these fins work the best for me and I'll tell you why. Because I'm a more of a progressive surfer, I want my turns faster, these fins seem to, to tone the board down like I could get some traction because I had a good amount of rake and I could also pivot faster and that's what I was looking for. And as I got used to the board, I felt like when I was doing my turns, the skatey feel felt like it kind of disappeared and I was able to settle the board down and not feel slidey on the front side. But backside for me, I could say that I never really figured it out. I felt like when I was going backside, coming off the bottom, hitting my top turns, my weight would transition forward, the fin, would, the tail would start drifting and I would have to regroup and start again. But for the most part, this board backside and front side, was just flying down the line and projecting, and that part felt good, but front side, I felt like I figured it out and started to have a lot of fun. Well guys, the Rob Machado Go Fish, what a fun board. It's so cool. When I remember the first time I saw Rob surfing on it, I thought, man, the lines he draws, he's got so much flow and it's just so inspiring. I thought, what could this board look like under my feet? And that's how it all started. So I've chose some fins that probably Rob wouldn't choose, but I don't surf like Rob. And that's the whole point. You need to find out what works for you. And hopefully this review shed a little bit of light on my struggles and my success and where I landed with what worked for me. Hey, I just want to say special shout out thanks to the folks at Huntington Surf and Sport. I love that they posted that on Instagram. We got to run down there, grab the board that works for us. Super stoked. And if you guys like the show, subscribe. You can also check us out, surfandshow.com. That's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.